mustering Orflish commands safely. Mustering Orflish commands safely. Having a well-trained dog that responds reliably to Orflish commands is a testament to the strong bond between a pet and their owner. Orflish freedom allows dogs to explore, exercise, and enjoy a more natural behavior while still being under control. However, mastering Orflish commands requires careful training, patience, and an understanding of your dog's behavior. Safety should always be the top priority when embarking on this journey. In this article, we will delve into the steps and considerations for achieving off-leash mastery while ensuring the safety of your furry friend. The importance of off-leash training. Off-leash training is not just about convenience, it is essential for a dog's well-being. Dogs are naturally curious and energetic creatures that thrive when given the opportunity to roam and explore their surroundings. Off-leash activities provide mental stimulation, physical exercise, and social interaction that are crucial for a dog's overall health. Moreover, off-leash training is a safety measure. Start with basic obedience training. Before venturing into off-leash training, a solid foundation in basic obedience is necessary. Commands like sit, stay, come, and heal should be ingrained in your dog's behavior while on a leash. These commands serve as building blocks for off-leash training and establish a strong communication channel between you and your dog. Consistency is key during basic obedience training. Use positive reinforcement techniques, such as treats and praise, to reward your dog for following commands correctly. This creates a positive association with obeying commands and reinforces their importance to your dog. Choosing the right environment. When you're ready to transition to off-leash training, selecting the right environment is crucial. Start in a secure, enclosed area such as a fenced yard or a dog park specifically designed for off-leash play. This minimizes the risk of your dog running into dangerous situations or getting lost. As your dog becomes more reliable with off-leash commands, you can gradually introduce them to different environments with more distractions. Recall, the cornerstone command. The recall command, often using the word come, is the cornerstone of off-leash training. It's the command that ensures your dog returns to you promptly and reliably, even in the face of distractions. Teaching a strong recall requires patience and progressive training. 1. Start indoors. Begin indoors in a low-distraction environment. Use a cheerful tone and the command come, followed by a treat or praise when your dog responds correctly. Gradually increase the distance between you and your dog. 2. Move outdoors. Once your dog is consistently responding indoors, move the training outdoors. Begin in your fenced yard or another secure area. Again, use positive reinforcement and gradually increase the distance. 3. Add distractions. As your dog becomes more proficient, introduce controlled distractions like toys or other people. 
Practice the recall command in various situations to ensure that your dog's response remains strong regardless of the environment. 4. Safety first. Always reward your dog for coming to you, even if they took longer than expected or were initially distracted. This maintains the positive association with the command. Stay. Ensuring control. While the recall command focuses on getting your dog to come to you, the stay command is equally vital for maintaining control. Teaching your dog to stay in a designated spot until released is essential for their safety and the safety of others. 1. Short durations. Start with short durations of stay. Have your dog sit or lie down and use the command stay. Take a step back, then immediately return and reward your dog for staying. Gradually increase the time and distance. 2. Release command. Introduce a release command like OK or free to let your dog know they can move again. This helps your dog understand when they are allowed to break the stay position. 3. Distractions and distance. As with recall training, gradually add distractions and increase the distance between you and your dog. Practice stay in various situations, gradually building up to off-leash scenarios. Managing distractions. Distractions are the biggest challenge in off-leash training. Dogs are naturally curious and easily enticed by scents, other animals, and exciting stimuli. Gradually exposing your dog to distractions during training helps them build impulse control and focus on your commands. 1. Gradual Exposure Introduce distractions in a controlled manner. For example, if your dog gets distracted by other dogs, start by practicing off-leash commands at a distance from other dogs and gradually decrease the distance over time. 2. Use high-value rewards. In the presence of strong distractions, use high-value rewards such as special treats or their favorite toy to reinforce their focus on you and your commands. 3. Continue training. Consistently practicing off-leash commands around distractions helps your dog generalize their training to various situations. Over time, they'll learn to prioritize your commands even in the face of exciting distractions. Reading your dog's body language. Understanding your dog's body language is crucial during off-leash activities.